Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we have what sold video. I'm gonna show you some stuff. And it's kind of funny because two of the items that I sold, and this is gonna sound really weird, really weird, were in the last thrift battle that I was on, that was on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel, which was a long, long time ago. So you're like, they were a bolo and they were on a thrift battle that you were on how long ago? Okay, so it was a long time ago, but it was one of the, I. they were like, I had multiples, okay? So anyway, I'm going to explain. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you the items that I sold on Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for, okay? And, um... I'm going to be in a thrift battle with you guys. I won the first round, which was, I'm going to have, I'll tell you when it was. I think it'll tell me, but I won the first round. I was up against Donatella Bottolino and you have to win three of the five rounds and we went all five. And I will tell you this video, it was live, but you got to go and watch the, the replay. It was epic, you guys. Donna brought like awesome stuff and I brought awesome stuff and it was just such a fun, fun video. So I'm going to pull it up and show you guys what it looks like so you can go find it. And then I need to remember to link it down below. Um, let me pull up the screen share. Okay, so it is over on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel and it looks like this. Primetime, did it pull up? Yeah. Okay. So primetime treasure hunters channel and it's primetime live number 41 thrift battle. Number two, Courtney from Bola buddies versus Donatella, the storage unit queen. And you guys, I will tell you it was so close, but I did take the win. Um, so that means that I get to go up again and I'm like, ah, so I'm really, really nervous. Um, I don't know if I'm going to win this time. I barely beat Donna. I will tell you that. Um, but anyway, go watch the replay. So this was um, 10, 15 of 2019, you guys. So like a year and a half ago, almost something like that. I don't know. But it's been a long time ago. 2019. Oh, my goodness. That was so long ago. Wow. So go check out that replay. And Primetime Treasure Hunter is up to 30,000 subscribers. You guys, if you're not subscribed to... Um, Dominic, go and subscribe to Primetime Treasure Hunter also. So check that out. I am going to be on his channel Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I don't know if I should be telling you guys this because I might lose. Ah! Um, I did find some bolos this weekend. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to do okay. But I'm really nervous. I feel like a lot of pressure being that my YouTube channel is called Bolo Buddies, but that doesn't mean like I sell bread and butter too, you guys. So um, I'm going to do my best. So if you guys can come on over and hang out and watch the show, that would be awesome. Again, it's on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. Um, he doesn't have the thumbnail up as of right now. It's Sunday. Um, gosh, what time is it? It is Sunday at 10.30 p.m. It is not up yet. Otherwise, I would show you guys the um, thumbnail, but it's not up. So go watch the replay of the old one and watch for the thumbnail of the new one. To set your reminder, I will um, share that thumbnail on my community page, both community pages, as soon as it's up. And I'm going to do my best. I know for sure three items I'm going to share. I still have to figure out two. I'm nervous. Okay. Let's get to the what solds. Um, let's start with this guy. Do you guys know who this is? What's his name? I just forgot it. He is from the Minions movie. Um, he's Thinkway Toys. Now, if he was in better condition, I would have priced him higher, but he came out of a mystery box and I was kind of excited to find him. Is his name Gru? Gru, I think, G-R-U. I didn't write it down. I just put minions.
But I took a best offer of fifteen dollars. Uh oh, I think I took the batteries out of him. I did. Sometimes I, if they don't come with batteries or they need batteries, I will test them and then take the batteries out. But I did do a video on my channel, Reseller Testing Products. If you want to see what he does, you push this button. It's on his shirt and he talks. But you can go over to my Reseller Testing Products and see what he does. But his, you move his arms and his legs and stuff. He's pretty cool. But I sold him for 15 The buyer was all in for $24. So if he would have been a little bit cleaner and a little bit better condition, I probably could have got 20 out of him, but um, I just went ahead and moved him quickly for 15. I'm going to say I probably had like a buck or two in him, depending on how many items were in that mystery box. Now you guys, uh, I already bubble wrapped it. Can you guess what's inside the bubble wrap? You guys saw this one in a video. Um, I'm pretty sure I sourced trying to remember. Yeah, this was in a video. So this was in the video where I got the nativity um, willow tree. I'm giving you a hint. I'm trying to think what else I got that day. But this was sitting on a table. That's a good hint. I had a garage sale and I may only open one of them because it's taking longer than I thought to get it open. Oh my goodness. And this actually sold relatively fast. Um, I paid $1 for the set and I feel like I'm getting a cold. So hopefully, hopefully I'm not sick on Wednesday. Do you guys remember these little guys? The little, um, let me see the little gnome elf little figures, um, handmade in Korea. And you know what? I saw some that were bigger at another garage sale and I did not pick them up. And now that these sold so fast, I'm wishing that I would have picked them up. So they're cute. Uh, the other guy's blue. Paid a dollar for both of them. I ended up selling these for $17.50. I believe that was just the price I had them on sale for. So they didn't even make me an offer. So yeah, I probably, I'll show you the other one. I might as well. Now that one came right open. Should have opened that one first. Um, I think I probably should have bought the bigger ones because they were way cooler than these. And I think they were pretty cheap too. But here's the other guy. But they're really, really cute. And I don't know why I did not get the other ones. But look, they're so cute. So um, yeah. $17.50 buyer was all in for $24.90. I had one Poshmark sale this weekend. Um, Poshmark and Mercari have been really slow. Um, and I have been cross-posting. So um, there's no reason for them to be slow. They just have been. Um, I use List Perfectly to cross-post. And if you guys are interested in trying to uh, get your items from eBay over to um, Mercari, Poshmark, Etsy, wherever you guys list, you can use um, a cross posting service and it makes things a lot quicker. I use List Perfectly. I love it. If you guys want to try List Perfectly, I do have a link down in the description of the video that shows you how I use it. It's kind of like a demo video. It's super fast, super efficient. It's going to save you time, which is going to save you money because you are going to be more efficient and you're going to get things done faster. And if you guys are not new to my channel, you hear me talk about this all the time. If you're new to my channel, go check it out because it's amazing. But um, you can use a uh, referral code <laughs> Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that'll get you 30% off your first month. But check out the video first um, because I walk you through it and it is so, so easy. Uh, sorry for the sniffles kind of embarrassing, but can't help it. Okay. So anyway, I sold this and for some reason it's really odd, but sometimes I only put things on Poshmark and I just thought that this was going to sell on Poshmark and it did, but I guess I don't know if it would have sold on Mercari or eBay because I only put it on Poshmark. I believe I got this at TJ Maxx and I don't, I didn't put in the notes what I paid for it. So Typically, I'll pay like $3 or less for things like this because they don't sell for a super lot. 
and I am just full of really good vocabulary tonight. Super lot. They don't sell for a super lot, but I actually sold this for $17, which is pretty darn good. It retails for $29.50. So to get $17 for it, I'm really happy with that. It's size three months. And um, I did send out an offer with discounted shipping. So Poshmark ended up getting $4.90. So my part that I got was $12.10. So not too shabby. I'm happy with that. So it's a little Ralph Lauren like onesie outfit. So pretty cute. Now the next one. You know, this weekend I had some stale hard goods that sold. So I'm pretty happy with that. I also had some stale clothing. And when I use the word stale, that means that they are items that have been in my store for a while that just happened to sell. So I'm going to show you this item. Here it is. This is my stale item. And I'm going to screen share it for you because I'm not going to take it out of the box. Um, sometimes I will package things like that and um, just like I bubble wrapped ahead of time. And I, I, I don't, I, I've never done videos like this until I started the new channel. So um, this is kind of new to me. So I'm typically a screen sharer. If you uh, are not subscribed to my main channel, Bolo Buddies, definitely go over there and give me a sub and check out my what solds over there. Okay, so the coin banks. These are um, Kroger uh, die cast coin banks, and they do have some yellowing on the packaging. I don't even know where I got these, you guys. I think a garage sale. I've had them so, so, so long. But this is what they look like. If you take the yellowed packaging off, they're actually white and they look pretty good on the inside. And I just wanted to make sure that I showed that. I think now, if I remember correctly, they came from a garage sale and it was about a year and a half, two years ago. Um, so I have had them for quite a while. Somebody offered me, let me double check here. I was going to say $17.50 and I was correct. And I was like, yes. Yes, please. You can have them for $17.50. So with um, shipping and everything, they were all in for $30.30. Okay, so I was telling you guys about the thrift battle. And one of the things that I shared was this humongous lot of hair accessories, vintage hair accessories. And if I remember correctly, I think that I won that round, but I'm not 100% sure. You guys will have to go watch it. Um, but vintage hair accessories can be a bolo for sure. But what I did is I bought, gosh, it was one of those cases with drawers and I bought all of them for $5. And I was like, I'm gonna part these out. And I had this plan and that's what I did. And I can't remember how many, but this was bag 19. And this bag, was one of the bags that I was just kind of like, eh, these are kind of like the ones that didn't really go with anything else. They were kind of the, the ones that I couldn't, I, I didn't really think had much value. I'm like, I'm just going to throw these all together. And, but now I'm kind of looking at them and I'm like, these aren't so bad, but they're just kind of like a hodgepodge of hair things. And I'm going to show you a screen share. Um, of a close up. So, just a bunch of miscellaneous, still really cute hair things. Like, there's little Annie. You know, I probably should have sold Annie separately and maybe the little cabbage patch. I mean, there's still some really, really cute ones. Um, the crayons. So, yeah, still some cute stuff. But somebody offered me $15 and I went ahead and took that. Um, let's see. I'm sorry, $14. And actually, you know what? I think I sent out offers. I lied. I sent out offers and I sent an offer for $14 and somebody took it. $14 and they were all in for $21. So it's a bag of vintage hair things. So 
I've had those listed since 2019. Now, these took a long time to sell, but the other ones sold much quicker. But I will say, I think I'm getting to the very end, okay? Now, another item. Should I show it? Another item is one item that Bolo Buddies is known for, the Berkham Bunny. I sold another one. Now, I think I had 32 of these. And you guys, if you've been around my channel for a while, you know all about the Berkham Bunny because I think I have five or six left and I think I had 32 of them. I think that was the count. Again, if you go to the Primetime Treasure Hunter video I showed you at the beginning, I talk about how many I had and I tell you more about these Berkham Bunnies and I tell you how I got them and more about the whole story. but. I have been selling these, I think the lowest price I sold one for was $70. And oh, I want to say maybe the highest was $125 maybe, maybe $115. I can't remember. I wish I would have kept better track, honestly, because they have just been a home run. And I think I got them all for 10 bucks, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I need to go back and watch the video because I can't remember the details because it's been so long ago. But these are glass and they're from a bunny mold. And I have them all numbered on the bottom. That helps me uh, find and make sure that I'm shipping the right one. Um, but there's a little on the bottom. There's a B and a B. And when I was at the garage sale... I tried looking this up on um, eBay and I just, I couldn't figure it out when I was there. Um, but I figured it out when I got home. It took some research, but again, check out the thrift battle for more details about this. But this guy was um, on sale and um, I had him, I think I was running a 25 or 26, I think it was a 26% off sale. So he was down to... $92.49. The buyer just bought him at the sale price. And with tax and shipping, the buyer was all in for $108.94. And if I remember correctly, I think this one glows a little bit under black light. So whatever is mixed in with this orange, I think it glows. Don't quote me on that, but I think. So Berkham Bunny. Sold another one. So two items from that original thrift battle. And it doesn't seem impressive because it was so long ago. But um, those Berkham bunnies, I am very patient because they take the right buyer. They are a, a long tail item because not everybody is looking for a glass bunny. It's going to take a collector. And I'm not going to give them away because I know that the right buyer is out there. So um I'm patient for those. <clears throat> okay. So this little guy came out of my mystery box from auctions for you. And it was funny because um, a viewer watched, I, I'm guessing it's not um, somebody who watches me on a regular basis, but they watched my video from it was on my main Bolo Buddies channel and it was the video where I had purchased the mystery box from T Auctions for You. And they had said, um, like, why are you buying toys if you don't know anything about toys? And I'm like, well, okay. I said, I like buying the toy boxes because it helps me learn. Um, so vintage toys I really don't know a whole lot about. And you guys know that um, I, I like to learn. So when I bought that mystery box from T, I learned so much from that box. So I unboxed it. I listed everything. I popped up screen shares of every single item in that box that I listed, which was almost everything. And I know that I learned a lot and I'm hoping you guys learned a lot from that box also. But like this guy, what on earth? Like how on earth would I know what that is? I mean, no clue. This guy comes off. I mean, 
most people, most people are not going to know who this guy is. I mean, seriously, like he's not, do you guys know who this is? <laughs> but I figured it out. And you know what? He sold for $15. The buyer was all in for $20 and 78 cents. And he is Fleet Fleetwood Sword and Sorcerer. Now, I don't know if I'm going to remember that, to be honest with you guys. But um, it does say Fleetwood Toys on the bottom. Made in Hong Kong. But yeah, I knew he was cool. And I made a lot of money from that toy box from auctions for you. And I have another one, you guys. It's sitting upstairs in my laundry room just waiting for me to unbox it. And I'm super excited to unbox it because the first one was a complete home run. Um, but yeah, so that's why I really enjoyed the vintage toy box because I like to learn and I like to teach. And that's what I did. So if you're watching, that's why. I don't claim to know everything, but um, my, I mean, that's why I do the category Bolo videos because um, I want to learn. I want to learn what to, to source for. I mean, I did primarily uh, clothing. So hard goods, I've only been doing hard goods probably two and a half, maybe three years. So I'm still learning. And that's really why I started the channel was to learn, learn and teach. So to help others. That's why I like the featured seller videos. And this is a hammock. And this is a Fisher Price Loving Family hammock. And I sold this for, um, I almost said 25 cents. That's what probably what I have in it. Uh, $11.15. The buyer was all in for $16.96. But I can kind of see where the person was coming from. They're like, why would you do that to yourself? Like, why would you, why would you buy that if you have no idea what you're doing? That's torture. That's torture. I'm like, I've got, I am armed with Google Lens. Okay, you guys ready for this one? The itsy bitsy spider. Okay, I'll spare you. I won't sing. Anyway, this little spider came out of a mystery box. And it is a Dan Breckner plush toys. And it's kind of hard to see, but it's a spider and it's a plushie. And um, $14 is what it sold for. And the buyer was all in for $20.91. And it's just a spider. It's kind of cooler than it looks. It, I'm getting like a really bad glare. But yeah, that came out of a mystery box. So I know somebody asked if I ever sell anything from the mystery boxes. Mystery box. Okay. Do you guys remember the estate sale I went to with the McDonald's stuff? This little uh, Happy Meal. It's a little transformer. And I actually did a little video on how this transforms on my reseller testing products. And I remember this one is kind of, it gets kind of, it's kind of hard to transform. And I can't remember how I did it now. Oh my goodness. I'm not, you guys can go over to my reseller testing products. <laughs> I did it over there. I'm not going to mess with it right now. But it sold for... $7. The buyer was all in for $11.45 for this vintage McDonald's Happy Meal toy. These were very, very stale. They are a pair of swim trucks. What's cool is you can wear them that way or you can wear them this way. They are called Reversible um, Islanda, Islanda brand. I don't know. They retail for $69. I sold them for $15. I paid $4.28 for them. I think these came from Gabriel Brothers. Fire was all in for $22.91. Another example of doesn't really matter what the tag says. So. 
Um, these are cool. So these are two-way bridge tallies. I think um, you uh, keep track of like uh, score. It's like a scorecard for bridge. No idea how to play bridge or what bridge is really. But um, oh my goodness. I'm trying to, can you see it? Do you see him? Do you see it? Do you see it? Ah! Okay. Anyway, ephemera, they're paper products. Uh, but yeah, uh, they're, what'd they sell for? They sold for nine bucks. Uh, buyer was all in for thirteen eighty seven. Pick those up at a garage sale for like a quarter. Uh, this is these are playing cards. They came in this case, and it was funny because I had in my custom skew like where I was keeping these, and I put I think they're on the shelf, and I'm like, oh boy, this is going to be one of those that I'm going to be searching for for like an hour. But you know what? So that's always good. They're still sealed, but I can't get them out. I'm wondering if it's like a, I want to see now. You know how some of them are really old and special? I wonder if it's a really old special pair and I didn't know it. And it's probably worth a thousand million dollars. A thousand million dollars. I really want to see now. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Like the special Joker or something. I can't get it out. They are like stuck in there. I don't even remember where I got these. This is another really stale item. Okay, here we go. Is that special? I don't know. If it is, somebody got a deal. Because I don't know. I don't think it is. Okay. I sold this very old... Not old, but this very stale dress. I've had it a long time. It's a Ashley Stewart size 16 dress. Please don't come back. Please don't come back. Does anybody else ever say that? Like when you sell clothing, please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit. And if it doesn't, please just relist it and sell it yourself. Don't return it. <laughs> message to buyer all right oh what did i sell it for um i sold it for 10 bucks and i paid like three for it got it at gabriel brothers i just don't want it back you heard it here first i'll let you know in the next video if it came back or if i got a return okay um Permanent pigments oil painting set. Got this at a garage sale. And I got this pretty recently. So um, quick sale. I sold it pretty cheap, actually. Uh, I took a best offer of 15. Buyer was all in for $23.04. I could have held out for more. Definitely could have held out for more. But I just decided to move it. It's vintage. Very vintage. Now, I don't know if I should show you guys this because I haven't shared the video yet. Hmm. I think I might keep this one a secret. <laughs> My glasses just fogged up when I coughed. That's awful. Okay. Um, you guys will see this in a future video. I don't know if I'm going to post it on this channel or my other channel. So make sure you are sub itching my knee. I can't talk and itch my knee apparently. Um, make sure you're subscribed to my Bola Buddies channel and this channel. Hit that bell. Um, I'll let you know what's in this because I don't want to ruin the other video because it's a different video. It's a different type of video. And I don't want to ruin it. So I'm not going to tell you what's in here. It's a surprise. 
well, the video is kind of, it's just different and I don't want to ruin it. So, and I haven't had time to edit it, edit it, edit it. It's one of those words I can't say, like uh, aluminum. Ooh, that was pretty good. Okay. Thanks for being here. I think that's it. Thrift Battle, Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. I'll try to remember to post it down in the description. Actually, it's always in the description of my video um, down at the bottom, but I'm going to try to remember to move it to the top, but if not, it's should be at the bottom. Um, but primetime treasure hunters channel, check out the replay, but the thumbnail should be coming soon. And again, I will be posting it on my community page as soon as I get the link. <gasps> Come and vote for me. If I have the best item, don't cheat. But if I have the best item, vote for me. Uh, just come watch, come show some support, come hang out. Um, I think, I don't think I have any other updates. If you guys haven't subscribed to my reseller testing products, please do that. I understand if you don't want to watch because it's just me testing products, but if you can sub, that would be awesome. Um, I don't know. I feel like I need to say something else, but I don't really have anything else to say. Yes. $92. You gotta love that. All right, I'm going to go ship and I will see you guys at the next video. Um, I'm going to be uh, probably taking it down to two videos a week. Do you guys want me to keep the what sold video? I'm thinking you do because this video gets the most views on my channel. So I'll probably keep this one and maybe do a sourcing one. And maybe do a third video here and there. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, you guys. I'm trying to trying to balance it out because I need to be listing more. Um, so I did do a featured members video, a bonus video for everybody that's a member on my other channel. If you guys could go check out that video. Um, it's awesome. Lots of great bolos from my members. Um, it's a great way to learn also. So go check out that one. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, 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 uh, go over to Chosen Goods Reseller, Carissa's channel. Um, we did an unboxing and well, she did an unboxing and I was like the little person on the side that was watching and talking to her. And anyway, she bought a mystery box from T Auctions for You and we unboxed it and you got to go check that out.